Hey guys, it's August 14th. Yesterday, uh, Shay and I, we walked around some public. It's where I grew up bow hunting and uh, learned how to bow hunt and everything. Ever since I was in middle school, it was kind of my stopping grounds back there. Parents essentially lived right next to this piece of public. So I uh, walked around and um, Shay's gonna do some, some hunting here. He's uh, my intern for the year. He is gonna be filming with me all fall, just like Jacob did last year. And what better way to get him veteran for Iowa than taking on some Iowa public throwing some cameras up. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Shay is awesome. Um, he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, can't wait for the season to unfold. little bit that we can. Caleb said that in the past he's had some good luck down in here and Josh actually hunted one of these trees right down in here a few years ago and had a few good encounters so the goal is we can get back in there and see if the sign gets any better and maybe we'll get the camera a little bit further back up here in this draw so let's see what it is, see what it looks like. Even the old hunters knew this spot was good. <laughs> dude, look at this nuts. I know. <laughs> this is gonna explode. I'm gonna do one, two, three mega trails. <laughs> like mega trails. Oh, we gotta get that cutty back up right yeah. now. Like this is probably this is the X. This is the X. Yeah, yeah for sure. Amen. So like you just saw, we found this awesome spot. We've been, me and Caleb, been walking around, just talking about how good of a spot this looks like. And he looks over and he's like, "You know, wonder it's so good." There's a fence crossing right here. The fence is taken out right on this part, so these deer have no choice but to cross right here. So we have like three trails converging right here. Big scrape, other trails running on this creek bottom, and a big oak flat right above us here. So <laughs> I think we just hit the jackpot. Is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so. I think we're gonna get a cutty back up on this fence crossing here and uh, see what we can get down in here. It looks promising, so pretty excited. <laughs> They've been using them for like forever. It looks like someone rides a bike here. <laughs> While well, we're here on spot number two on the public land, and before I dive into it, I just kind of want to talk about how. This is my first year even hunting Iowa, and I just got my residency probably two weeks ago. I got it sent in the mail, so everything's good. I'm able to buy my tag now, and uh, things are starting to you know hit me now. You know, in the woods, setting up these cameras, it's starting to get real, and season's coming up, so it's going to be a really good experience. And uh, hunting public land back here is going to be it'll be a task. So I'm excited to see what we can find back here and really give myself a shot and go through the challenge of trying to kill one of these public land deer my first year in Iowa. So. We're back at one of these spots that Caleb's hunted a long time ago, and uh, the goal is that we can kind of find these deer pinching down here. We're at a pretty good funnel where we're at right now in public, and uh, there's a creek bottom down here, and for what I can see right now, there's trails running everywhere. So 
the sign looks good. We're gonna take a little walk around and try to see what else is around here, but we'll get a camera up and everything, but I'm excited to see what the spot will hold. So, me and Caleb walked like a mile all the way back into the second camera. And now that we're back here, we're gonna try to find a spot for this last camera we have and try to get it on a vine scrape if we can. But right now we're down on this bottom, just kind of looking around, trying to find the next good spot, so. How far do you think the next camera is from here? Uh, the next camera? You wanna walk, how far do you think? Probably another, 500 yards maybe. Oh, this looks awesome. This is like a little It goes up there a little ways, but. Like all this stuff in front of you, like that's all the sanctuary. Yeah. You can just see, you can just see the pension down into this area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This trail, dude, see it running below right there? The rub oh, right there's there. three trails there, dude. Yeah, trail coming across the creek, another one across the creek. This run here, rubs. That's probably where we gotta put the scrape. I agree. <laughs> That's a big buck track. That's not a doe, right? I don't know. Oh, I thought uh, it was a big buck track. Yeah, it's probably doe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back here. A little bit further onto this public and we just keep running into more and more sign we just found a big crossing across this creek with a big scrape here right up above it and uh we brought a vine back in here so we're going to try to get it up in a tree here right in the middle of one of these crossings so the goal is to get it up see what we can find but it looks really good and really promising <laughs> Good thing we brought a pack. Good thing we got a lot of them. <laughs> put two up there. I won't pull it. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll pull it that tight. Oh wait, that's, that's backwards. <laughs> We're struggling. So we're back here at our last spot on the public for today and uh, we carried in a vine scrape and got it hung up here, touched it up a little bit and why we chose to put this vine scrape here is because we have a really big crossing coming across the creek right here off this hillside and we think these deer are bedding up on this hillside here and coming down to this bottom with the sign we've been seeing. There's an old scrape line kind of going right through here and multiple trails crossing that creek so I hope we'll get some intel by tonight and have a good idea come fall what's back in here and stuff. So. Hopefully this scrape pays off. Vine scrapes. <laughs> I was just kind of rambling. Let me finish. No, that was good. <laughs> so uh, Caleb swears by this spot and he also swears by the vine scrapes. So we'll see what this can bring in and uh, hopefully we'll have deer on it tonight as he says he thinks there will be. So we got him across. So. It was a good day in the woods and um, if I can kill public land deer my first year in Iowa, I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty happy with myself. So fingers crossed, time for fall. <laughs> All right, so it's a couple days after we put those cameras out, and uh, Shay's got a little motivation and excitement to keep him chugging along while he's editing this year. Let's check this out. You got big Doug. <laughs> yeah. Second day? Yeah, second day. That might be the first buck I got in Iowa. That's like the first buck, technically, <laughs> that I've got a picture of in Iowa myself. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Walking right through the fence gap. 
So uh, this week we're going to be just doing a lot of stand work, but we'll check out a couple plots, see how they're doing. Uh, we got a lot of rain down here, nine and a half inches is what I actually heard for already in August, which is just unheard of in Iowa. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.